Hello people, uh, it's Mbongen once again on this video I'm going to show you how to send and receive UNISA emails from the phone. I hope now you know how to receive it from your laptop. Now we are going to click on the email address M that we downloaded at some stage. Can you see there? And we are also going to click on the Chrome. So those are the two options that you have if you want to receive your email from the phone. Let's start with the Chrome or Google search. You just type my life as you can see here. There you go. There are your emails. So every time you want to access them, you follow the same procedure. Now let's go to the AMP that we've downloaded, email address AMP. If you had downloaded the AMP using other accounts like Gmail accounts, you must now add a UNISA email address or details here. As you can see here, follow through that finger there is going to guide you through the process. We have entered UNISA, my life UNISA email address. Now you must enter again UNISA password, the same password that you use for any other UNISA related uh, activities. Sign in. Click on the office account now. There you go. Those are your emails. So you've got two options. You will need to choose. Can you see that we now have got two accounts, the Gmail and the Office, which we've downloaded through um, the UNISA details from the Play Store. Back on the Outlook AMP, let's explore some few things, how you can send. You've seen now how to receive. So as you can see, you want to send through the exam section. You put the subject there. Don't forget to put your student number on the subject whenever you send an email. Let's compose our basic content for our email. Just for demonstration purpose, we are going to attach a file so that you can see. Here is now on an Android. Same procedure also on the laptop. As long as you've downloaded the AMP using UNISA credentials, you won't have a problem. If you already had an existing account, you can edit as we have done, as you can see here. We have successfully attached our file, as you can see there. Thereafter, we are going to click on send, then the message is sent. You can also add multiple email addresses, as you may wish, as you can see here. Now we must check if it's really sent. As you can see here, now we've got two accounts. You choose which one you want to use. Now you can explore so many other features on your Outlook AMP, like the calendar. You can see there, you can set your dates in terms of the assignments and all other stuff. So yeah, those are the features that you can use. I hope you've learned a lot here. So don't forget to subscribe and press the like button. Let's meet again. Thank you.